Hey guys, it's Bryce here with yet another Fusion 360 quick tip on some of my favorite sculpting tips. In this quick tip, we're going to start to model this paddle, created by our own resident sculpting master, Chad Lockhart. We will start sculpting this paddle with a T-spline cylinder. Let's start by using the Edit Form command to start sculpting. First, I want to start by selecting this entire loop of faces. So I'll select the first face, then while holding Shift, double click on the adjacent face. This will select the entire loop of faces. Now we can start using the manipulators to shape the throat of our paddle. Next, we want to start adding more faces to work on the blade of the paddle. We want these new faces to be curvature continuous to the existing ones. First, let's double click on one of these edges to select the entire edge loop. Next, let's hold down the Alt plus left click on one of the manipulators. We will drag these new faces directly out by holding Alt, then dragging on the arrow. Then, still holding the Alt key, we'll click on the plane to drag these new faces out as well. Now let's rotate to the side of the paddle that's going to hook up to the shaft. In this case, we want a creased edge that we can add a fillet to later. This time, I will hold Alt plus Control on Windows, or Alt plus Command on a Mac, to create the creased edges. We want these crease edges to go inward, so we'll grab the center, or 3D scaler, to move all the faces inward. Then we'll continue to add more faces with one more creased edge. Alright, here's my final tip in this video. There are three different display modes to view a T-spline body. We are currently looking at smooth mode. We can manually select the display out of the display mode command, or using the following hotkeys. First, we can select Alt and 1 on Windows or Control and 1 on Mac to switch to box mode. This displays the T-spline body by using the control framework. While in this mode, we can use sculpting commands to further work on the layout of our faces. Next, we can hit Alt and 2 on Windows or Control and 2 on Mac to switch to what I call mixed mode. This mode displays the control framework over the actual model. Finally, Hitting Alt and 3 on Windows and Control and 3 on Mac will return you back to smooth display. Make sure to use all three display modes to ensure you get the desired result in your T-spline body. Well, that is the Fusion 360 quick tip for this week. Until next time.